you have some questions about oral contraceptives and exactly how they work and how things work with the sugar pills that are at the end of a 28-day pack. Oral contraceptives are very effective at preventing pregnancy when taken as prescribed. When taken as prescribed, the chance of getting pregnant is less than 1%. However, a lot of women miss pills or don't start pills when they should, and so they end up getting pregnant 8% of the time. The pills that you take in your pack contain hormone that helps to suppress ovulation, and they're given at specific times in your cycle to prevent ovulation. So it's important to start on the first day that you're supposed to start, and then at the end of a 28-day pack, the last seven pills are sugar pills, but um, a lot of people like to have those available because it just makes it so you're used to taking a pill every day and you don't forget to start on day one of your next cycle. Basically, you're able to get pregnant or you're fertile for six days out of each month, five days leading up to ovulation and on the day of ovulation. And ovulation typically happens about mid-cycle. So of a 28-day cycle, you'd probably ovulate on day 14 and be able to get pregnant for five days leading up to that day because sperm can actually live inside a woman's reproductive tract for three to five days. So you could potentially have unprotected intercourse on day nine and actually get pregnant if you ovulate on day 14. It's possible, but the chance is low, about 5%. The chance of getting pregnant increases when you have intercourse closer to ovulation. The chance is actually greatest on the day before ovulation at about 30 to 35%. But of course, this all only applies if you're not taking contraceptive pills, using any other forms of contraception, or if you're not taking it as prescribed then you might ovulate and pregnancy is possible. Um, to specifically answer your question, you're not gonna get pregnant when you're on your period because you're not ovulating and that will never fall during your fertile window. So I hope that this has all clarified it for you. If you have more specific questions, call your doctor and based on their knowledge of your situation, they'll be able to give you the best advice. And if you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.